Shanti, yeah, that's me, and I'm back at it again with a reaction video. So I just reacted to part one, and now I'm reacting to part two, and I'm gonna get straight into it. Hopefully, this ain't a snooze fest because last one was so freaking boring. Like, I'm still trying to wake myself up and get into the video and get into the tea, but right now, ain't no tea being spilled. It's just a, uh, oh, it's just, it's just terrible. Like, she could have kept this information, she could have kept this press, she could have kept her social media presence and YouTube presence to herself because right now I'm very disappointed. I'm very unentertained and I'm very unlikely to subscribe so far. Anyway, let's get into the tea. So I'm going to say this, there was a time in the basement, because that's where I was living at, when we were together with him, because um, this just sounds familiar, and I guess I guess people are putting pieces together, but... Uh, My point is, why does it sound so familiar? Who wrote it to the point that it's so familiar? So basically, what they're telling me is... It's false, but it's based on a true story, meaning it's some truth, but they altered it a little bit to bring the drama, aka her friends or his friends, somebody in the past brought the drama to the drama. Come on now. They they had a hand in this. Come because like why why is it so if she didn't write this at all, there should be no truthful elements to it it should just be all like propaganda all lies all deceit but it's like somewhat true so it's kind of like maybe i don't know y'all let's get into it i've never looked at his phone or seen a message um of queen the only thing that i that this reminds me of is the time where he had told me that queen wrote to him and told him that he should start YouTube. She could have kept the whole first video and just started with this because what? Queen knew? Queen wrote to him. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Rewind. She said, they said that somebody wrote Clarence saying, oh, if I wasn't married, then I'll marry you. Sound like Queen so far, but she said, hold on, let's just put it together. And that's it. And he made it seem to me that when she DM'd him that, that was a long time ago. Mind you, the reason why I know of her is because me and Clarence used to watch her videos with Chris Sales. Oh. That hurt my heart. That hurt my soul. <laughs> hurt my soul they were fans and then he left her for oh my god that gotta hurt saying oh my god i like them we should be like them or oh my god they're so funny they're so cute and they're so everything and then he went and became that everything that they aspired they like to be oh that gotta hurt and you know what? Where I got her face paused at, that's exactly how I feel that right now. It's kind of like a, God damn. They got hurt. Whoa. They used to watch the videos. Clarence has been new by her. They been flirting. Oh, he a dog. And I enjoyed it. I enjoyed her humor. I enjoyed his humor. I enjoyed them together. And me and Clarence used to watch their videos. That's the crazy shit. <laughs> that's the crazy part. And all you had to start with was this. Like, that's all she had to start with. Like, we didn't care nothing about that other 15 minute video. It was a waste of time, waste of views, except for her. It's going to benefit her. But anyway, whoa. And I'm going to say this again. She a good one because over my dead body, would you have moved on with somebody I used to watch with you? Hell no. Nah. Um, yeah. Also, over my dead body that you blew up on YouTube and I didn't fall right behind you. Hell no. Nah. She weak. She tripping. Her account had 3 million fans and um, then it's like it went from oh my god you were 
are so damn fine if they're, if I wasn't married I'd marry you so they so the so the girl was married um you know after that she continued to send messages she continued to send messages to um this girl's man this sound like queen and I ain't gonna lie <laughs> Loki, it was fair game. And it was breaking up on and off, you know, nowhere on his Instagram. He looked single. He looked like he a bachelor. And they was breaking up. So he looked like he was fair game. And I can't say if I was queen that I wouldn't have done the same. Because I definitely would have. But not him looking like that. Him look like the favorite bearded king that we all love. <laughs> I was in the DM Susis. I would have slid in, been persistent. I've been like, hey, you know, where you at? Let's link up. Just like she did. But, I mean, can't be mad at her. I guess that's... Can't be mad at him, too, because he's a fan. He wanted to meet somebody that he watches and he enjoys. And shit. That's just how it was. Because it's a little YouTube there. Holy I found out also when you guys found out. And it definitely all made sense why me and him was going through what we were going through. So, yeah. And I don't think them breaking up and them having problems had anything to do with Queen. It seemed like he been cheating. He been dogging her. He been doing what he wanted to do. And she was, she was just like accepting that. So I wouldn't blame Queen. I would blame Queen as far as having a certain platform, having a certain um thing that he liked because if he's already watching her he enjoyed her humoring how she was he's already like kind of like and he was already kind of like intrigued or like interested in queen in some kind of fashion whether it be like platonic or like or like you know romantic wise but i don't think that's queen's fault i think that's their fault of them having so many other issues before and him and queen having a clean slate she don't know shit about his past she don't know shit about what's going on with him they just know that, hey, well, Qu Clarence just know that I like her from what I see. Queen just like, I like what I see, it just from what I see, like face wise. But anyway. I know that's Queen. And look, that's funny. Like, that's that's some cute little game. That's some like, if I want to marry, I'll marry you. <laughs> that's what I would say. You know, she sounds like an old lady. She like an old ass woman. I'm like, hey, if I want to already take 40 years and pop out all these kids, you know, you be next in line. That's what it sounds like. It's real dark. <laughs> it's like a cougar. Allegedly, the ex, Leslie, the ex, said that she started to, she saw more messages and she I'm not gonna talk about anything with her and her husband for some Queen. And so, um, Clay basically, you know, the the ex basically that's being that that's the author of the book. The ex basically flipped out. She got mad because she's like, "You're not just doing this for money. Like, there's an emotional connection that's building." Like, you're basically taking it too far. You're actually listening to this girl. You're actually, you know, entertaining this girl on a... Okay, so... Ooh, around the time that, um... Queen... <clears throat> came to his life... Um... Me and Clarence... We never really broke up. What he asked for was... What does we never really broke up mean? Are y'all together? Or are y'all not? Because ain't no, we never really broke up. But y'all was having problems not speaking. Y'all not posting each other. What really were y'all? Don't be like throwing at them little entanglement, like kind of like lingo up in there that, oh, we were really still kind of somewhat together. Either you were or you were not. Because if you were not, 
Fair game, sis. Because he wanted to do things that he couldn't do while I was there, living with him. That's what he told me. And I cried about it. I was sad. I was hurt. But I didn't want to stop him from achieving his goals or doing whatever he wanted to do. I didn't want to be the block to it. I didn't want to be the tremendous obstacle that he needs to go over, you know? As much as I loved him, I wanted him to be happy too. And I wasn't going to sit back and get treated less than I deserve. So... About time, you done got some um, backbone because it seemed like the whole relationship, when it started going sour, you was being weak. That's what it seemed like. I let it be, and I gave him space. I went back to my house, and um, yeah, one thing led to another. So I went back home. I gave him the space. We never even said it's over. Da da da. We didn't. That's not how it ended. Yes. Yes, it was over. The I want to do what I want to do what I want to do when you're not here. I mean, I want to I want to be on my own. I want to be a single bachelor so I can go talk to Queen, the apple of my eye at this point in time. And if you move out, that means we are separated. We are not together no more. And I can do what I please. And see, she broke her own heart. She was still in relationship with him. He was not in a relationship with her. She wrote this bitter ass book. Her and her friends. Her and her little friends. It was just space that he wanted, so I gave it to him. And um, I remember talking on the phone with him. Like there was look when we young. I'm sorry I keep talking so much, y'all. When we young, space me. I just need some space. I need to figure it out. Meaning, I don't know how to tell you that I don't want you no more, but I'm gonna get space. And that way, when I have space and we away from each other. I could just be like, hey, I just want to keep it like this because you are already gone. You're already out of my face. But, you know, when we're young, we understand that. I started making their videos, and he told me, um, you know I love you. You know I want to marry you. You know I want to have kids with you. This is just business. And I said, fine. Then I opened That do make sense. Because when Clarence met Queen... She did say that he was kind of like standoffish, trying to like push her to the side, trying to just like not make no moves on her. And she said that he was like really like kind of shrugging her off a little bit. And he was trying to keep it business like because he had that entanglement going on with his ex. So that is true. So how does book so true if none of if one of them wrote it? Anyway. Told him, Clarence, the more you with her, the more you guys are gonna get feelings for each other and obviously she likes him I mean he told me that he told me like yeah of course she likes me but that's not the case it's just business and I said fine but I already knew but once you hang out with somebody every day and you're you know you guys are gonna vibe whatever you guys you, I don't know. You m might see something and whatever. This is it. So that's what I told him. He would tell. He told me, assured me that that wasn't the case. Um. He so lied. I believed him. And then um, the videos kept coming in. They kept coming. They were getting a little more enticing. I don't know what she thought. I'm gonna let her finish. And I couldn't handle it. I remember, if I go back, I remember when they were alive live and I was like, oh, what is happening to me? And she watched a lot of, um, wow. When the video started getting a little more like freaky and too, like too, too spicy. Like, I don't know, when it was just getting too much, I couldn't handle it. And I knew then that I had to just let it go. Um, and I, I couldn't deal with that. And he obviously was getting to a space that he where he wanted to be um so i pretty much let it go you know um, now make my comment since you silly if she thought him wanting to be a youtuber and him finally like reaching that pedestal and him having that like like entry of being a youtuber one like the top youtubers at the time 
and he getting a taste of that YouTube money, and he thought, and she thought he was coming back, she should have known. Oh my God, I can't believe her. I feel so sorry for her. Like, I would have known my man ain't coming back. I'm like, dang, she had three million subscribers. People know her, and you know they look good together. They got good chemistry, and he look good on camera. Cause you, you know, Clarence look good on camera. It's just kind of like a you fucked up by having that loose little leash on him. But at the same time, it wasn't your man. So you can't say nothing because it was not your man. You wanted him to be your man, but he didn't want to be your man. So you know that. I hope you know this now, but he did not want to be your man. We can't feel sorry for you. I'm with SD for their money. So I'm like, what's really good? So then Clay simply just said to his ex, um, that's supposedly Leslie, you know, um, she obeyed, like he's just trying to get his followers up and play the basically said that this girl is basically just to come up. Um she has she's loaded with money and clout and um basically that was it. That's all it was to him. That's what Clay told um the ex. So he didn't tell me that um those things are the obvious. Oh, she being petty. Now her real personality coming out. Now she's showing us who she really is. You mad, you was bitter. You're back to being 95% guilty. You wrote this shit. inviting Clay to New York. I do know that she came to New York to visit. I don't know how they got together because I didn't read messages. I know just as much as you guys know from after they posted how they started or whatever. So I don't really know how that shit started. So I want to assume that they were talking on Instagram, exchanging times to see each other or whatever. Why she fidgeting so much? She fidgeting like she irritated, like she mad, like she hit again. You wrote it, you guilty. I'm finna slam my uh little guilty hammer. The ex said that basically <clears throat> verbatim, she took pics all of my man's house and she paid for it, um Clay's dinner and took them out. And um I know there was pictures in the basement, but um, I don't know about the also dinner. mentioned that she was on a budget because she said that her husband, the public figure, said that her husband figure said that her husband um pretty much took all her money so she was on a budget and that is the end of my first reaction of part one of queen of lies i hope that you guys enjoyed this video all right this was better than the first one the first one like I said before, she could have kept that shit. Like, that didn't do nothing for us. But uh, the second one is a lot better. Um, before, my part one, if you ain't seen it, I said, first I thought she was like 95% guilty. And then after part one, like where she was at that point, I was like, well, I think she's about like 58% guilty now. Now I think she's like a 97% guilty. Like, she, she wrote that shit and... She had her friend write it or somebody close to the to the family to where she vented to them and let them know what was going on and gave them the okay to write it saying, I don't care. It ain't got nothing to do with me now being petty wop. She not off the hook. She guilty for one. Number two, um, we all knew Clarence was getting that queen because, you know, she had a certain type of pedestal. She had a certain amount of clout that Claire wanted. Um, people said he was using her for money. Um I do believe that Queen Aisha did not have money at the time that he met her because that does seem like something that 
queen would do. She was depressed and she wanted to be out of the relationship. Like she was getting abused, like, you know, emotionally and all that. So of course she'll be like, just keep the money. I just want to get out. I'm leave for like my sanity. And she was just unhappy. I could picture her for real, for real saying, you keep the money all you want it. I'm not that type of person. Nobody in my family, that type of person. But that's how Queen built. And I can't resonate. But still, I can see her doing that. Anyway, as far as him saying it's just business, he was lying to himself because why you meeting up so many times? They was having so much fun. Like, look, if I'm free, I'm a single bachelor, and I'm hanging out with Queen, somebody I used to watch, somebody's personality that I like, and we out here in hotels and stuff. We out here having fun. We out here having a good time. Like, I'm going to keep doing that. I don't want to keep dealing with you. And all we talk about is our relationship. We still having our same problems. And it's like, bring my mood down. I'm going to go hang out with the person who is keeping my mood up. We ain't even talking about, like, no hurt or, like, no past pain. We just trying to, like, you know, look past that. Because we both trying to, like, let our exes go. Because he let you go. If he let you move out and he said, I need space. And I'm trying to, like, do what I want to do. He let you go, sis, and you know this. Anyway, I do really feel bad that it happened like that, but I cannot say that Queen is wrong because Queen seen Clarence. She seen him around on um, Explore page. Honestly, I think it's fate. It's destiny. Like, he wanted clout. He's doing really good at keeping it up. Like, he seems like he's a pretty decent man, even though he probably didn't start off with good intentions. Like, He's been a really good man so far, so we cannot fault him. And it seems like the issues that him and Leslie had, him and Queen ain't having. And I don't know if it's because of the money, but it seems like them issues that they had ain't nothing. And it seems like Claire was, like, very well equipped to, like, deal with Queen's insecurities. Because it seemed like that girl had insecurity. She had, like, a lot of, like, problems. I want to bring up her health again because that's, like, so wrong and something we did not need to know. But it seems like he was well-equipped to, like, deal with girls' emotional state because of her. So, thankfully, he did have that experience with Leslie to be a better, better man for Queen. Because if he met Queen at the time that he was dating Leslie and how he was being a dog nigga and making her cry and she kept taking his ass back and Queen just dealt with Chris Sales and she had that low self-esteem, it would not have worked. So, I ain't saying, thank God that Leslie came to his life and she got heartbroken because that is so wrong. That is so horrible. But like, look at the better, look at the bigger picture, y'all. The bigger picture is she did what needed to be done. She gave him that experience to make him a better person. And I hope she took whatever happened with Clarence as far as her being a doormat and her, like, taking shit and, like, basically, like, just saying, we were still together knowing that, that they weren't. I hope she takes that in her, to her next relationship and don't be as dumb because if she does, it's a win-win for both of them. That's all I'm saying. But anyway, the verdict is she guilty. Her and her little friends wrote it. Her and her little cousins wrote it. Somebody that she know wrote that because if never one of them wrote it again, why is the book or PDF? I ain't read it. I don't know nothing about that. Why is it so closely matched up to where it could be true? It's just like a little bit of like I'm gonna stretch the truth for a little bit. Why is it so true? If I didn't write it and Clarence didn't write it, and we didn't tell nobody about our relationship, our relationship was private. We really didn't talk about stuff. Who knew that much information? If y'all both didn't really talk about stuff like that, who knew that much information to write it besides y'all and besides people that you've been into? Because I don't see Clarence being like that. And if he did vent, it, he would have been into Patty. But Patty was along the ride with Queen. And I don't think Patty would have did that to himself. That goes, that just goes back to my saying of how people get on YouTube to get clout because it's a perfect clout moment. The way Clarence took his opportunity for his clout to like get known and like get into the public eye, this is her uh this is her white horse. She's hopping on a white horse, she's taking and she's selling off, and she wrote that shit. Verdict done. She's guilty. If I had a hammer, a little judge hammer, I would like swing it and say, guilty. I know one thing for certain though, Clarence better not have thrown her this alley oop to get clout. And to get her platform up so he can get his out to go back to his ex. Because 
That's what people have been saying for years. People have been saying that as soon as he get his, as soon as he get enough clout, he gonna leave her and go back to Leslie or leave and upgrade get somebody else. So, um, that better not be the case. And y'all better not be plotting. And I'm not gonna support that. So Leslie, come, come in this game for yourself only. Don't come for Clarence because Clarence, he already proved he ain't loyal once. Oh, I'm sorry, he already proved he ain't loyal like five years in y'all relationship. So, uh, excuse me, don't get caught up, bitch, because Queens fans do not play about her. And we already was on uh Clarence ass anyway, saying like he's with her for clout. Do he really like her? Is he really in it for like the right things? And I think it probably started off for him trying to, like, get his clout. But at the same time, he really did fall for her. It's even her song. She's like, I don't want to fall so fast for my open. And he wasn't ready to, like, open and love again. And he said she was going to make him fall in love. He wasn't trying to do that. And he did. So it's still fate, if you ask me. Really, if you ask me? This whole PDF that she wrote, because she knows she did, it really sounded like a diary post gone wrong. A big diary, long diary entry gone wrong. That's literally what it sounded like. It sounded like she was mad and he the moment and she didn't really mean to say it so roughly and verbatim as she did, but she meant the word. But she meant that shit. Just like she meant what she said. Uh, he kept saying he was only with her for clout. She made sure she said that, so. Girl... Prepare for the war. And I hope you like this video. Comment, let me know your thoughts. Y'all know she guilty. Go ahead and put in the comments below that she guilty. Go ahead and drop it and subscribe to my channel and like this video.